In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po muli dito sa Basilica. To prepare ourselves to offer the solid sacrifice in the Mass, we recall to mind our sins and shortcomings, and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, Eternal Father, and grant that, seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, This day the Lord, your God, commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be, care be careful, then, to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God and you are to walk in His ways and observe His statutes, commandments, and decrees, and to hearken to His voice. And today, the Lord is making this agreement with you. You are to be a people, peculiarly His own, as He promised you, and provided you keep all His commandments. He will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all other nations He has made. And you will be a people sacred to the Lord your God as He promised. The Word of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe His decrees, who seek Him with all their heart. You have commanded that you, your precepts, be dil diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. I will give you thanks with an upright heart when I have learned your joss ordinances. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Please stand. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, 
that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his Son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not tax collectors, do the same. And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Please be seated. Magandang baga po muli sa ating lahat. Nakapal napakalinaw po ng mga pagbasa natin sa araw na ito. Sa first reading, yung agreement ng Diyos at ng tao na kung gusto mong maging anak ng Diyos, sundin mo. May mga dapat tayong sundin para na, na at ipakita na talakarapat dapat tayong mga anak ng Diyos. At sa, sa gospel natin ngayon, uh, Hangok chapter 5 St. Matthew, actually napakahabang gospel ito. Ito yung nagtuturo ang Panginoon kung paano tayo makikipagkapwa-tao nang sa ganun talaga tunay tayong anak ng Diyos. At ito, isa gospel natin sa araw nito, ang ah, pinakamatindi. <laughs> pinakamalaking hamon kasi sabi niya do not love your neighbors hindi lang hanggan doon love your enemies ayun yun ang mahirap-hirap yung bandang dulo ng utos ng Panginoon love your enemies alam naman natin is yung enemies natin no? sino ba yung mga enemies natin sa buhay oh, wala akong alam na tao sa mundo na hindi nagkaroon ng hinanakit nagkaroon ng sama ng loom, tayo dumaranas ng ganoon. Lalong-lalo kung mapait, hindi tayo makamubon. Kinip-kip, dinaladala natin, nilang sa araw. No? Eh, eh, nako, lalong, habang ang tumatagal dyan sa nasa kaluban natin yung ano, eh, hindi pa rin maalis-alis. Bakit? Hindi tayo yung makamubon. Bakit? Sapagkat tayo nasaktan. Maraming dahilan, ano, sa isip natin, masyado tayong, sabi nga, nilurakan <laughs> sa Tagalog, no? masyado tayong napi. Totoo yun, no? walang taong, walang pakiramdam na kapag ininsulto ka. Paano ka babawi? Buti kong mahaba ang pasyensya mo. Lalo pa kung paratangan ka, na hindi naman totoo. Di ba ang tendency mo, gumante. Gagantihan rin kita. Kung hindi ngayon, sa ibang araw. Kaya kapag hindi natin yung inalis, laging nandyan yan. Kaya yun ang napakalaking hamon sa atin ng Panginoon. How to love our enemies. Sinong enemies natin? Kapwa rin tao natin na nakasakit sa ating kaluban. Yun ang pinakamahira. Hindi bali yung nagkautang sa atin, may pakasa pa tayong bayaran. Ngunit yung kapag sumakit yung dibdib natin, sumakit yung ulo natin, eh... Mahirap mong burahin yun. Nangyari na, nangyari. Ang, kina, ang sagot lang doon, ah, tapatan natin. Yun ang sa iba. Contento sila kapag natapatan nila yung ginawa sa kanila o nakalamang pa sila. Yun. Bukulit. Hindi yung maganda. Ano? Sa, ano bang ginoon? So, kaya sa, kaya pinalala sa atin, tayong lahat nakikinabang sa lahat ng kabutihan na kabutihan na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos ang araw ang ulan, no? Para yung salato ng pinipili ang Diyos. Kahit na makasalanan, hinahabol ng Diyos na magbagong loob. Kaya nga gaya nung, sabi ko nga, masyado mga ba itong chapter 5, kung babasahin niyo uli. Maraming mga turo kung paano tayo makikipagkapwa-tao. Sapagkat ang pakikipagkapwa-tao ay hindi lamang nagagaling sa iyo para sa iba, pakikiramay. Perfect yun, maganda yun. Ngunit yung pakiki gusto ng Panginoon, sabi nga niya, nasabi sa gospel kahapon, kung meron kayong alitan, hindi na kinakailang pumunta kayo si Judge at husgan kung sino nagkamali. Kung kaya niyo naman ang pag-usapan na mainahon, 
eh, tapat na yon Kung mag-aalay ka sa altar, naalala mo, ay, may pagkakamali pala ko, kailangan ko ng tawan, hindi gagawin ko. Of course, mahirap rin po yun, no? Kapag humingi tayo ng forgiveness sa isa. Lalo na kung alam natin <laughs> na tayo nakasakit. Di ba mahirap yun, no? Hindi pwedeng, baka sabihin mo naman, papasok sa isip, Totoo kaya yun? Nakakaduda naman yung sorry na kaya siya sa ginawa sa akin. Ganon tayo eh. Ayaw ko kung saan nang galing yung ganong ugali. No? Napakahirap. No? Tanggalin. Ngunit sa ibang pamamarang, gaya ng ginagawa ng ibang santo na ibang tao, kung hindi mo kayang gawin yung humingi ng patawan o patawarin yung isang tao na alam mo talaga nagkasala sa'yo, nagkamali sa'yo, eh, ipagdasal mo na lang. Hanggang doon na lang, huwag mo nang dagdagan, huwag mo nang gawing malala yung sitwasyon. No? Kaya nga kung isang, sabi ko nga, kaya yun na laging paalala sa atin, yung good manners and right conduct. No? Ayan, konsyensya na sa konsyensya mo. Yung mga words yung ganun na kinakalang pa minsan-minsan, hindi uh, gagawin natin. Sapagat karaniwan, ang ginagawa nating dahilan, Father, tayo ay tao lamang. Ta- na, stress na, stress na ako. <laughs> Iyon na siguro ang paraan para gumaan yung loob ko. O, sayo, gumaan. Kawawa naman yung naging biktima mo, di ba? Kaya, komisyon, lalong lumalaki ang gulo. <laughs> Kasi inisip mo lang yung sarili mo. Of course, hindi naman tayo masyadong matalino. Da bawat galaw natin, titignan mo na siya, mabato, umali. <laughs> Pero kung kumisang tumatama tayo lagi, kapag sininanong natin ang ating sarili, ito ba makakasakit sa kanya? Of course, kung makakasakit sa kanya, makakasakit sa akin. Ito ba kapag ginawa ko, magdadamdam ba siya? Pag ginawa sa akin, magdadamdam ko. So napakasimple lang po. Ganun ang kinakailangan ituro natin at matutuhan natin sa araw-araw. Huwag na natin punta yung mga malalaking gulo. Yung away na tunay, you know? dugo sa dugo, buhay sa buhay. Kaya nga sabi misan, yung, yung, kaya nga tinanggal ng Panginoon yung ngipin sa ngipin, mata sa mata. Kasi hindi, tayo lahat bungal, lahat tayo bulag. Kung ganoon magiging uh, re, uh, rules ng buhay kapag bawian. Ngunit ang pinapaalam sa atin, pagpatawan, walang hanggan. Pagpatawan, nakakaganang loom. Pagtanggap, ng kapatawaran, napakainam. Pagiging humble, pagpapakumbaba, sapagkat ikaw ang nagkamali, napakaganda. Kaya yun ang hamon na kaya ba nating gawin. Yun. Eh, kanya-kanyang estilo na yan, no? Nasa sa atin po yan. Ang iba, napakadali. Ang iba, napakahirap. <laughs> kaya nga, sabi ko, kung talagang mahirap, eh, huwag mo nang damdamin at dalhin sa iyong kaluban sapagkat mahirap pang move on mahirap tanggalin lalo ka lamang guguloyin yan sabi nga ng iba hindi lamang sa kapag nakikita mo yung taong kagalit mo hindi lamang kapag naalala mo yung ginawa sa iyo kahit nga raw sa panaginip napapanaginipan mo pa rin mabuti yung panaginip ay maganda <laughs> sabi nga parang monster yun eh. yung kaway kong yun at tigit pa sa lahat nasa mad sa atin Sisiraan pa natin, no? Nagigigay nga naging famous yung word na marites. Sabagat nakukontento ang maraming tao na manira. Siguro pamara, pamararaan, pamaraan na yun na naka, nakabawi na lang kung kahit konti, no? Pero masaya ba? Hindi. Maraming nadadamay. Kasi kaya sa pagturo ng Panginoon, kung talagang mahal mong Diyos, pakita mo yan sa yung pagmamahal sa kapwa-tao. Pagmamahal na napakaraming pamamaraan. Hindi lamang pagdamay, hindi lamang pakigisa, hindi lamang sa... Napakaraming okasyon. Kapag nirespeto mo, especially yung respeto na hindi mo na aalisin na kayong dalawa ay kamukha ng Diyos na tayo ginawa. Huwag na natin ting- tingnan kung magandang mata, magandang kilay o lahat ng mga kolorete na nilagay natin. Hindi. Sabi tayo, pantay-pantay sa mata ng Diyos. Nagkakaiba-iba tayo sapagkat 
sa ating pamumuhay ay naiba. Sa ating pamumuhay, kung hindi tayo maingat sa ating mga ginagawa, eh, maaaring makasama sa iba, maging, maging makasama rin sa ating sarili, sapagat malamang kung nasanay na tayo sa gumawa ng hindi ka nais-nais, eh, talagang mapapasama ka. Ngunit kapag sinanay mong sarili mo na hindi lamang yung, of course, we are not after, sabi ng Bukino na yung nakikita sa atin, no? Mas maganda pa yung hindi nakikita, ngunit maganda yung ating ginawa. At at the same time, sigurado na ba, no? kahit pa paano, may konsuelo ka sa iyo, no? Kasi kung minsan gano'n, no? Ang hirap, alisin. Isang kaaway lang, nakalimutan mo na yung ibang mga taong dumadamay, no? Of course, it's not the quantity, sabi nga, kung kano kahalaga yung pagpapakita ng uh, pagkalinga o pag, pagdamay o sa mga ganong mga, ba, mga, ganong mga bagay, kundi sa tunay na intensyon, tunay na kadahilanan kung bakit natin ginawa yun. Kaya napakaganda ng readings natin ngayon, pati na yung gospel natin. Kung gusto niyo, balikan nyo sa bahay, haba, mahabang gospel. Ngunit, makatotohanan, makatuwiran, at siguradong hindi tayo maliligaw kapag ginawa natin, at siguradong diretsong-diretsong yung lakad natin, no? Maaari nating hindi naman ipagmalaki sa Diyos. Ngunit, makakayana natin gawin kung gugustuhin. Magsitayo po tayo. My brothers and sisters, with confidence, we now approach the uh, the all forgiving Father, whose mercy towards us is limitless and without bounds. After expedition, we say, "Lord, hear our prayer." Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church on earth may be living example of the forgiveness and compassion shown by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with kindness even upon those who have hurt us, injured us, or caused us hardship in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with God's grace, we may be able to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care and compassion for the sick, the old, and the neglected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be blessed and rewarded with eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of this Mass. Almighty and compassionate Father, we thank you for the forgiveness you have offered to your Son. Help us to show your forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these blessed mysteries by which we, we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gift they bestow through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We'll lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered aff affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are, eternal, that are eternally endured. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Here indeed, Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of pain. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, his fidelis is as his son bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliverance, Lord, we pray for every evil, graces you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace grant her peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who takes away the, the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence and terrorism deliver us lord from dishonesty lies and all distortion of truth deliver us lord from bribery graft and all conspiracy for fraud deliver us lord from threats intimidation and perverse language deliver us lord let us pray together hear us lord hear us lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That our common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates may bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those you refresh with this divine mystery, and, and accompany with salutary consolations for those who have been viewed with heavenly thanks through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Marami pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo at pakiisa sa banal na misa. Ingat lang po mo sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick.
Uh, prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan ang umihiling na gumaling sa anumang kalamdaman o umiwas sa anumang sakit. Idamay na rin po natin yung ating mga bahay, yung mga senior citizens. Alam niyo yung nasa mahirapan sila pumunta sa manawag at makalabas ng bahay. Napakainit po talaga. Pati yung sa ospital. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila. Maniwala kayo bilang pagdamay natin sa kanila. Salamat po. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, the Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. If you have them with you, just bring them out. Pag na po kay kaali sa inyong mga pwesto, lalapit lang po ang mga mag magwebless. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.